In this video, we're going to be looking at a tennis racket. Its manufacturer described as destined to be one of the most successful rackets ever made. Does the Prince Spectrum Comp live up to this name? Welcome to Retro Rackets Rediscovered, the series where we find old tennis rackets from thrift stores, discover the history of them, and test them out on the tennis court. Today we're going to be looking at an example of the Prince Spectrum Comp 110. And I've got one here. I picked this one up from a used sporting goods store for $15. And I would say this one's been worth every penny. Prince in the 80s had a line of tennis rackets ranging from boron graphite composites, the most stiff, to flexible rackets made of aluminum and fiberglass. In the brochure you're seeing on the screen now, the Spectrum Comp is described as the third stiffest of the bunch. What makes the Spectrum Comp special compared to the Prince Graphite? The inclusion of ceramic fibers in the frame. The Spectrum Comp includes graphite, fiberglass fibers, silicon carbide ceramic fibers, and everyone's favorite material from DuPont, Kevlar. This amalgamation of materials creates a well-crafted frame that's not only stiff, but feels soft on the arm. Prince had this racket manufactured in Taiwan in both the Spectrum Comp 90 models at 90 square inches and the Spectrum Comp 110 series, which actually measures closer to 103 square inches on the head. At 12 and a half ounces, this racket is pretty heavy by today's standards, but at the time it was released in 1985, it was actually one of the lighter rackets on the market at the time. I actually have come across the Spectrum Comp 90 at one point in time, but each time I found it, the grip has been far too small at size L1, too small for me. But I can tell you that 90 is a pretty great racket regardless. So there are two versions of the Spectrum Comp. There's this one in white, painted white, and there's another that's actually yellow, and that one's a lot harder to find. If you can find that one, that's worth quite a bit more than the one painted white. So what I like most about the Prince rackets from this time it's, they're fairly big head size. They've got a nice thin beam, which lends itself to good control. It's just well balanced and overall great. I use this one mostly in doubles, but it is great for singles play also. So in the year this racket was released, ceramic made rackets were kind of the big thing at the time. You had this competing with some of the Wilson ceramics and the Pro Canix is starting to put ceramic fibers in their rackets. Uh, I couldn't name you a pro that used this racket in particular, but if you have watched King Richard, you will see that Sean Stafford was using what looked to be this racket when she was playing Venus Williams in the movie. Now she was sponsored by Prince, but in all the photos I've seen of her playing, she didn't have a Spectrum Comp 110. So with that being some backstory, let's take this racket on the court test it out. So that's the story of the Prince Spectrum Comp 110. Be sure to subscribe to Retro Rackets Rediscovered. We're going to be looking at more Prince Rackets and other classic rackets of the day. We'll see you in the next video.